In this video, we are going to look at how to create pie charts and donut charts in Tableau. Pie charts are great for showing proportion. Part to whole relationships. We usually think of something as 100%. For example, if we see profit in our data set, that's the 100%. And we often want to know how much one piece is or one slice is relative to the whole thing. Pie charts are great because we think of proportion in relative terms. It's not so great when we need to look at exact proportion. Humans tend to not do so great when we need to read exact angles and let's say compare 19% to 20% to 21%. Pie charts are also not great when you have too many slices and too many things to compare. It becomes really confusing and really cluttered. So be careful and be intentional when you're using pie charts. Pie charts are not evil. Pie charts can be effective if used in the appropriate scenario or place and time, and it could be greatly ineffective otherwise. Let's dive into Tableau and create a pie chart. The easiest way to create a pie chart in Tableau is to simply go to your marks first and change this to a pie. Once you change this to a pie, you're going to see that there is a sixth property in here called angle, and this is where you, we typically put our measure. So this will determine how big the slice is. So for example, if we are looking at profit, let's actually search for profit here, looking for profit and drag that to angle, you're gonna see that by default, it gives you just a big circle because that is your 100%. So in here, let's fit this entire view. Let's make the circle a little bit bigger. So now we need to determine what slices up this pie. That is typically a discrete dimension that we drag onto color. I have a genre group in here that I want to place on color. And this is our very, very simple pie chart. Typically in pie charts, we will have some labels to make it easier to identify what the slices are and how big those slices are relative to everything else in that pie chart. So in here, I'm simply going to copy genre. I'm gonna press control, drag that to label. I'm also going to copy profit, so control drag profit onto label as well. And because we are looking at pie charts as 100%, this whole circle is 100%, typically we want the labels to be in percentage. So I will take this profit that's currently on label and I'm going to add a quick table calculation called percent of total. Percent of total will treat the whole circle as 100% and it's going to calculate that profit percentage for us. So in here, Quick table calculation, percent of total. And then you can also optionally add the actual value as well, if that is helpful. So in here, let's just do a little bit of formatting. So on label, I'm going to click on the three ellipses. Now this can get really overwhelming. You can see that if you have too many slices, this becomes really cluttered right away. Um, I also would like to add a highlighter, which will allow me to hide the labels and then show them as somebody is interacting with the pie chart. So from here, I'm going to click on the field that is on the color and I'm going to show highlighter. And on label, I'm going to mark the labels only when they're highlighted. So it takes the label away, but it allows me to now look at the values separately from each other. And this is your pie chart. So how do we create a donut chart? When you think about it, a donut chart is really a pie chart with a hole in the middle. That's it. So all we need to do now is create that circle in the middle. So let's duplicate this pie chart. Let's right click, duplicate this one. We're gonna start from here. And the way to do this in Tableau is we need to create what we call a dual axis chart. But there's a problem. Right now in this pie chart, we have no axis. So we're gonna create one. We're going to improvise one. I'm going to double click on an empty area in columns. And I'm just going to simply type in min of one. So a minimum value of one. And this really doesn't mean anything, but because this is going to be a continuous field, it's going to give me some kind of axis. And if you haven't watched the video on discrete and continuous, I'm going to put it in the card at the top if you wanted to check it out. So right now, we already have an axis. And let's actually just adjust this size. And what we could do is we could simply duplicate this axis. So in here, I'm going to press control and I'm going to drag the new axis that we just created. So now we have two pies. 
the middle circle in a donut chart actually has no slices. So we just need to make sure that the second pie actually has no slices. So let's go to the marks card for the second axis. So this second axis right here corresponds to that second marks card. And from here, we can just take away anything that forces that slice. And in this case, it's the color. So let's take that out. And I'm actually going to remove pretty much everything so now we have the two circles and all we really need to do now is make adjustments to the size and perhaps add another label. In this case, I'm going to re-add profit to label and I'm going to make sure that this shows up and probably formatting this profit. So on the drop down, format, and in here, perhaps something that's a little bit more concise. It's going to be currency, one decimal place, and maybe in thousands units, make this a little bit bigger and then make the circle a little bit smaller. Adjust the size here, drop it down a little bit, change the color to white. And now we are ready to make this a dual axis chart. So from here on the drop down of your second axis, we can click on dual axis. So this dual axis option exists. Let's click on that. And this is your donut chart. And right now, all you really need to do is really clean this up, maybe taking away um, the headers, taking away maybe the grid line. So under format, lines, take away that grid line so it's a little bit cleaner. And this is your donut chart. This is your quick tutorial. I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.